Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here. What you're about to watch is I think one of our better videos in a while, but we're, we're coronavirus quarantine. We're at home. And so it's a little bit different. Uh, all things considered, it's our goal to be informative and helpful to you. If ever we can help you, of course, you can find us online over under agent.com or you can call us 214-310-0008 or a lot of people are texting us on that number, which is great. 214-310-0008. Uh, but we're going to, in the video, we answer, you know, should you, should you make a move to this area during this time due to health reasons? Should you make a move to this area due to the future of the real estate market? You know, is it, is it a smart move uh, to move, you know, into the densely populated city or are there outskirts of the, uh, of the country more, a better option? We talked about rapid transit. We talked about healthcare. We covered the gamut really of why you would or would not move to the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, considering coronavirus, considering your personal safety, job opportunities, the housing market, access to healthcare, all those kind of things, and a lot more. So Mason kind of interviews me back and forth, peppers me with a couple of questions. We talked about what's happening right now today in our market and what we think is going to happen in the future. Should be super, super valuable for you. And again, before we go fully to the interview, um, it's, it's worth listening all the way to the end. But if you don't make it that far and you just need help or need a short-term question answered, you can call or text us. And we're happy to do that. Whether we represent you or not, of course, we'd love to be a real estate broker and agent. But even if not, we're happy to help. 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008, or just go online over underagent.com. And we would be happy to share a resource, connect you with a vendor or help however we can. So check out the interview, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you on the next one. Hey, everybody. This is Mason Goss. Uh, hey, Todd Tremontiers, we'll, we'll call you. Uh, fans of the Todd Tremonti uh, channel. I'm uh, usually behind the camera, um, but today Todd's let me loose, gave me a microphone, and all heck is going to break loose. Well, the coronavirus has us working from home, and I've got the studio soundboard. And the crowd goes wild, Mason. They are loving it. It's very funny. Yes, it's just been really, really great. Back to you. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, anyway, I'm sure a question on a lot of our viewers' minds is... Should I still consider moving to Texas or DFW specifically, because that's where we live, uh, during coronavirus? Should I, or should I just hunker down in my house and wait it out? Uh, is it a bad time to sell? Is it a bad time to move, you know, wherever you're moving from, California, New York, any of those places, trying to move to Texas? Yeah. Is it, is now the time? Let's take this from a couple different angles. Number one, respect whatever laws and regulations and restrictions that have been put on you in your communities, right? So, you know, if you're sheltering in place, you're probably not packing up the moving truck and moving out. Now, there are some essential, you know, life and business things that are allowed. So, in a lot of areas, you are still able to buy, sell a home and move very carefully, appropriate social distancing, lots of disinfection, disinfectants. But um, all things considered, if you are free to move about the country and able to do this, most likely if you want to do this at the moment, it's because of a job transfer or something fairly essential. Um, or maybe it was already planned and now you're just asking, should I follow through with that plan? The question of Texas or Dallas for, or specifically is a totally reasonable, fair question. My answer is going to be pretty similar to what it normally is. And I'll give some clarifications on what's different about it. But Texas is a wonderful place to live. Um, you have all the options. I mean, literally all of the options. Uh, you've got lots of opportunity for safe, super distance, rural living with, you know, traditional Texas stereotypes, you know, farm and ranch and cattle and horses and all those kind of things. Agricultural, you've got a lot, and I mean a lot, growing, growing, growing suburban opportunities with, you know, develop, recently developed neighborhoods, master plan communities, older suburban areas, uh, you know, and every end of the spectrum in that regard. And then, of course, you do still have massive, densely populated urban city areas like Dallas, like Fort Worth, Houston, you know, whatever. As far as Dallas, Fort Worth, North Texas, your major, major, major population hubs are Dallas, then Fort Worth, kind of Arlington, and then McKinney-Frisco is becoming this massive uh, hub. 
so all that being considered, you you can move here in any of those you know scenarios across the spectrum of population density, for, you know, space and things like that. As far as health, major concern right now, you know, we've got phenomenal healthcare resources uh, in North Texas. At Texas as a whole, of course, has University of Texas medical branch extensions kind of all over from Galveston all the way up throughout the country. Houston's got a major MD Anderson, MD Anderson cancer research and healthcare hub. You know, Dallas has UT Southwestern and, you know, it could go on, on you cook children's and just Baylor. Baylor, Baylor healthcare system and Methodist healthcare. I mean, just some really, really um, well regarded, renowned facilities, uh, medical professionals, medical schools, nursing schools. Um, so if you're looking for great medical care, there's not a whole lot of places that, uh, that are going to be much better than the Dallas Fort Worth area. So, you know, major concerns at a time like this, the ability to live in the type of environment you want, access to healthcare. And then I think, I think travel is a super hot button item right now because in a lot of ways we're trying to limit travel. But once these restrictions are lifted and once we get back to healthy, somewhat normal living, uh, Dallas is a, just an unbelievably easy place to travel to and from. Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport's a major international hub. You've got Love Field. We've got uh, rapid transit in the form of buses and rail. Uh, we've got actual trains. Todd, some of our commenters said there's no public transportation in Dallas. They did. And I assume, and this is me putting my nice guy hat on and not saying the first things that came to mind, um, you know, if you're from New York City or Chicago, then yeah, we, our public transit doesn't, is not going to be on the same level as those communities, but we don't have the same type of community. We are a large spread out, we cover a sprawling, massive geographic area. So assuming that it's even a good idea to try to build a New York City style subway system is goofy in my opinion. Chicago is a larger, more spread out area and, and does have the L train and some subway issues, but still nowhere near the geographic sprawl of North Texas. Uh, folks that aren't from here, and it's no one's fault, I'm not upset with anybody, but you may not understand the, the size of Dallas-Fort Worth. Dallas and Fort Worth alone, each individually rank among the largest cities in America. You put them together in what's called Dal Worthington, the Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington Metropolitan Statistical Area is up there, like I think in the top three. It's huge. Um, and we have all of the above. None of them are necessarily, you know, dominant, but we've got rail, bus, train, like actual train, the TRE. Um, and then, of course, air travel is, is phenomenal. And then we've got a vibrant, you know, um, Uber, Lyft, taxi, you know, you've got every option. Actually, they're, they're testing, uh, I don't know how much they've broadcast it, but they're testing like human drone travel stuff out in uh, some areas near here. We've got some um, government contractors and um, major aerospace engineering companies here. I mean, we've got all sorts of innovation around travel and public transit and all those kind of things. Uh, there's, there's a lot of debate about uh, light rail between Houston and Dallas and it's supposedly coming. So, you know, the, the questions about, think about, think about the resources that would be available to you as you're thinking about moving to, to Dallas, Fort Worth or Texas. If you could commute from Dallas to Houston or from Houston to Dallas in the same amount of time that you could currently drive from a suburb into Houston or Dallas, in one hour, you could be, go from one to the other. You could That's live crazy. in one and work in the other. The number of job opportunities that would exist to someone in either of those two cities would be utterly incomparable, I think, probably any other place in the world. That doesn't even include like remote job opportunities, which is a whole other topic. But if you're thinking about making a move to Texas, I, I don't know a timeline of that, but people are talking about in the next 10 years that could be done and real. So, it's worthy of this conversation. You know, the coronavirus angle of that, I mean, we certainly hope and pray that those realities would be long after coronavirus. We've flattened the curve and we've, we've got our arms around this thing. But if you're making, you know, a serious calculated decision right now about do you continue a previous commitment to move to the area 
or if you've got to make a move all of a sudden and Dallas Fort Worth area is a high consideration, back to coronavirus, would you have any reluctance or fear due to the number of coronavirus cases and COVID-19 cases in our community? I am not a medical professional, obviously. Let me be very clear about that. I'm not giving anyone advice, but I will give you my opinion. I don't see any reason that the number of cases in Dallas-Fort Worth is, is anything other than uh, an area where there's a ton of people and a lot of travel. And now, in my opinion, it's being handled pretty well. I mean, everyone's got their opinions and critiques, but there's a significant level of distancing and quarantining. Uh, and I think a, a decent amount of public education on it. That's where I think we could all do a lot better. But um, as far as like, would I, would, I, would I caution, would I stop a move to Dallas-Fort Worth because of the number of cases? Um, if you're going to live in a heavily populated city where there's a lot of travel, no. I mean, I, unless you want to hole up in the country because you don't want to be near people, but as soon as this virus outbreak is over, there's going to be some negative impact of being out in a rural scenario, whether it's, you know, tornadoes or lack of access to healthcare or travel. You know, the, the next big thing in the media is going to cause everybody to want to live in cities again. You know, I, I, we, were, we were discussing, not, not really joking, but we were discussing that the, the, the issue of the day causes everybody to respond to that issue. And then the next issue causes us to respond totally differently, right? Uh, so when the issue is the spread of a virus, everybody's thinking, I want to be out away from everybody. Well, the next issue, even if it was healthcare, is I want to be nearby health. I mean, healthcare resources or the ability to travel, get the heck out of town, you know, those kind of things. Right. Uh, so I, I would say also, you, maybe you want to address some people's fears uh, about the market, the real estate market in DFW. Is, yeah. it, is it slowing down? Is anything happening? I mean, I can personally attest to at least I'm buying a house during this time. Right. Well, and you guys were going to buy anyway, but you, you had an incredible investment right. opportunity because, again, not in any malicious or manipulative way, but you were able to strategically take advantage of other people's uncertainty and fear. Uh, but, but, but overall, the Dallas-Fort Worth real estate market is actually surprisingly trucking on forward. We had 307 properties come on the market uh, yesterday. We had almost 90 properties go under contract yesterday. Our team signed three client, three brand new clients virtually yesterday in one day. Uh, we had four or five properties go into contract this week for buyers and sellers. Uh, I think it's two sellers, three buyers, or maybe I've got it backwards. Um, and we're having hundreds of conversations every week with people that are thinking about making that move right now or that are ready to as soon as things normalize to some extent. So the market's still moving, you know, quite significantly. Um, there, you know, overall market activity is down a bit, but not nearly what you might think that it is. So, um, home building is a, is a essential industry. So homes are still being built. Residential and commercial construction are still going forward. Uh, home inspections are moving forward. Mortgages are getting done. Title companies are still closing out transactions. So all those essential items to make a move to buy, to sell, to consider, are, am I going to buy a property? Is my property value going to be okay? We are a massively growing population with, clearly there's some sensitivity around unemployment and jobs right now, but generally speaking, and I certainly anticipate in the future, an incredible employment environment. And we talked about the access to even more opportunities in the future. So for the sake of time, to wrap this up, I would say, uh, no, I would not delay a move. I would not... Um, uh, take, take out of consideration Dallas-Fort Worth for a move at this time. I would be uh, super positive, super high on Dallas-Fort Worth uh, in regard to what's going on uh, right now uh, in, as preparation for future. You know, wh where would I want to live that's a generally safe place where people take things like this very seriously? Um, I, think, I think my last question would, would have to be, not to interrupt you, but uh, a lot of people maybe not, aren't <clears throat> necessarily afraid of the virus or maybe they are, but I think the economic impact of the virus may be one reason why they would be scared off, right? How does DFW Texas in general fare in times of economic 
yeah so downturn let's, let's, let's look at let's, let's let's look historically right so the the two most recent huge economic threats were 911 and and then the housing crisis of 2008 9 10 um dfw took a pretty decent hit at uh 9 11 because dfw is significant has a significant presence from the airline industry and banking and investment. Um, so it, it took a pretty good immediate hit and then it recovered, you know, rel- all things considered, it recovered very quickly. Uh, I would say relatively quickly because certain things um, are inevitable. It just it, confidence needs to be rebuilt. But, um, but DFW fared very well during that time compared to a lot of other parts of the country and certainly other parts of the world. Um, let's look at the 2008-9 mortgage housing uh, economic uh, crisis that the whole country went through. I, I We built our real estate business. We had been around for a while before that, but we really built and grew through that time because there was so much opportunity. Yes, we had our fair share of foreclosures. Yes, we had our fair share of short sales, but housing prices really didn't drop in our market during that time. There were some little pockets that had kind of overinflated and came back to earth a little bit. But generally speaking, our market sort of hit pause for a year and a half or two years where values didn't really rise much, but they didn't sink or drop at really at all. And there was still plenty of activity. People who had very recently purchased homes at you know, 100% financing with uh, you know, borderline reliable incomes, some of those people got hurt in a market like that. People that bought and then quickly had to move, you know, lost some money. But overall, in both of those crises, DFW fared very well, especially compared to the rest of the country, especially paired to, compared to major markets in the rest of the country. Much better than New York, LA, Chicago, San Francisco, Miami, you know, um, was a very uh, attractive stable, safe place for investors. A lot of investment money poured in here from those markets and from international markets and continues to do so. So, I, I am extraordinarily confident that we will recover very quickly from this. In some ways, it really isn't a recovery because our market isn't seeing a whole lot of negativity. It's seeing a, a, a shrinkage of activity, the, the total overall activity levels coming down, not dramatically, but noticeably. And I think that's going to surge back whenever consumer confidence begins to be like, okay, I think we're past this and it's safe to get back into it. But just know this, Mason's buying right now. We've got lots of other clients buying right now. 307 homes came on the market yesterday and almost, I think it was 88 went under contract yesterday. People are still making moves. Uh, And uh, all of that was just in the three major counties in Dallas, Fort Worth. There's a lot more activity beyond that. So all that to say, uh, I think it's a super positive time to move here. I think the future is bright. Uh, I think values will be strong. Population will continue to grow. Job opportunities will still continue to be significant. But let's just wrap up by saying we do understand that these are appropriate questions because it is a, a somewhat uncertain time. I'm really confident about our future. Uh, but if you have more questions about this and we can help you with them, our phone number, our, our, our links and everything are right below. I'll just go ahead and give it to you, 214 310 Zero 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 eight two one four three one zero 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 eight, or you can always go online to overunderagent.com, and that's that's a weird website. Overunderagent.com is because we guarantee to sell homes over the average price and under the average time. Overunderagent.com. We're also we also guarantee we'll save buyers at least five thousand dollars throughout their purchase process. Mason's not even finished yet; they've probably already saved eleven or twelve, if not yes. more. So uh, happy to help earn your business or just answer a question and be a voice of, of calm and reason for you. So, uh, Also, that number isn't an automated number. We're not sending you to a voicemail. Someone is going to pick that up and get back to you very quickly and answer any question you have. You know, any, Even if you're not planning on coming to Texas or moving to DFW, we can answer questions just about uh, you know, where you're at. So we appreciate you. Subscribe, like it, comment below. We read every single comment. We'll respond to you there. We'll take it offline, help you one-to-one if that's best. Uh, Share this with someone who who it would help, right? Someone who has, you know, questions about the housing market. This, I feel like this video could be very valuable um, to anyone. Yeah. And, and uh, again, if we can help 
We'd love to. If you click that little bell, it'll let you know when we make more videos. And our goal is to be a valuable resource for you as you consider a move to our area or within our area. You know, obviously we would love, if you need a real estate agent, we would love to be your agent. But even if that's not the case, we want to be a valuable resource to you. So if we bump into you at the grocery store, you would, we would, we'd be a, a quality citizen. You would elbow us into in the grocery store, right? You wouldn't Social. hide behind the chips. You'd say thanks. Social right, distancing. Folks, we appreciate it. And again, because Mason is not in charge of the soundboard and I am. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, they love it. All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Appreciate it.